In the film opening we have created, our group attempted to develop and dispute conventions of real-life forms of media. The genre for our film opening was action thriller. One way in which we attempted to develop this was through the use of camera shots and angles, yet also inputting a fight scene. These techniques contain similar media conventions from movies such as Jack Reacher, Skyfall and Taken. These movies were used as our inspirations. In our film opening, we endeavoured to mirror certain scenes from our inspirational movies. This is shown through the phone call used in our film, and similarly the phone call used in both Jack Reacher and Taken. Our main objective was to allow viewers to understand what our potential movie storyline would be about. This would occur through the spectating of our two-minute movie opening. Through the use of fighting, tension and gunshots, we successfully gave a clear insight as to what our movie would consist of. Prior to our filming, we found several inspirational scenes which we deemed fitting for our production. For example, the phone call scene from the movie Taken. Moreover, we decided to create the stereotypical scene of the villains being represented as the dominant figures. This was inspired by the movie Skyfall, where the anti-hero was an individual who is both outspoken and someone to be feared. This led us to develop the idea of the Russian Mafia threatening the damsel in distress, Harvey Specter. Commonly in action movies, the evil villain dresses in a way that is distinctive, different and unique. In our movie, however, we decided to challenge the stereotype and dress our villains in an all-black formal attire that would be visualised as common in society. Lastly, if we were to create a real-life movie, we would use Tom Cruise as our main actor. This is due to his role in movies such as Jack Reacher and Mission Impossible, in which he is regarded as a fearless hero which would link closely with our own movie. When attempting to represent particular social groups, we are limited in many ways, such as age, gender and ethnicity. Through this, we followed the conventions of an action film. When making our film opening, we had the main characters both as male. We did this because in many action films, such as Taken and Skyfall, the main characters are male. Seeing as our film opening was inspired by these films, we decided to do the same thing. However, this is also due to us being limited with our choice of actors. The male domination in our film opening is stereotypical, as in the mass majority of action films the main characters are male, and the heroic characters are male as well. There is a lack of women in action films, especially as the main character. They are seen as weak and in need of help. Due to this, we decided that we would not have any females in our film opening. Also, when analysing gender, we noticed that the villains, such as Mafia, are usually male, this played a part in our film opening, as our two Mafia villains were male. This made our whole film opening male-dominated. The Mafia also links in with eth ethnicity. This is because Mafia characters are usually Russian or Eastern European. Due to this, when our Mafia character had to speak, we tried to give him a Russian accent. The Mafia wore a banaclava to hide their identity, and suggest from the parts of their face that could be seen around the eyes that they are from a different ethnicity to show diversity and rivalry against each other. We aimed for our Mafia characters to be Russian as this is very stereotypical in many action films other than just our inspirational ones. The two main characters are in the same social ethnicity group due to them being brothers. As they are from the same ethnicity, it makes it more evident and obvious to the audience that they are brothers. We decided that our characters should be young adults around the age of 22 to 27. This is because in many action films the main character is stereotypically relatively young as they are seen to be more appealing and appear more attractive to the audience. This would attract more viewers. However, we were limited in our age range due to our actors being 16 and 17. It would be very hard to get them to look older which was a large factor of our influence on choosing our age range for our characters. Our group chose Warner Bros to be the institution that distributed our movie. Prior to filming, when asked to research about institutions, we found that Warner Bros had one of the highest success rates when faced with distributing action films. We therefore came to the conclusion that this media institution would be best at distributing our media product. Our group looked at previous action films that Warner Bros had distributed. 
Examples such as The Dark Knight Rises, which had earned a gross profit of $448 million, and The Matrix, which earned a final gross profit of $171 million, demonstrates that Warner Bros. generally produce successful action movies. Moreover, Due to the fact that Warner Bros. was founded in 1923 means that they have gained a respectable re reputation as being a world-renowned institution. Our film opening also required large amounts of editing. This is due to our fight scene being shot in several different camera shots and angles, and therefore we would require a company such as Warner Bros. to help distribute our movie successfully. Lastly, movies such as The Dark Knight Rises which was both a commercial and critical success, was distributed by Warner Bros. For that reason, we would elect them to distribute our film, as they would aid us to create the high-budget film we would aim to achieve. In contrast to this, low-budget distribution companies may not have the ability or the funds to adequately distribute film such as ours. Our primary audience focuses on young males between the ages of 16 to 24 who enjoy action films such as Sky 4, Jack Reacher, Mission Impossible and other films. Men would usually prefer action films as it appeals to their style of entertainment. They have a strong interest in thrills, excitement and action. Even though the primary audience is males, this does not mean that females would not enjoy the film. Furthermore, females from 16 to 30 may also enjoy action films, however it's not common to see this trend. Men tend to like gunshots, fight scenes, car chases and other types of violence which is why our media product has appealed ideally towards men. It is shown through the conventions of our film opening that the genre of the clip is labelled as an action film because we used fast paced action sequences including the use of a gun. Also it is important to consider that all three characters shown in the clip were males. This shows that men are the most appealed because they can relate to the characters. Violence is a subject which is more tolerant by men than it is by women, hence why the main audience is males. Our media product focuses on violence as its climax. It is important to keep the viewers engaged, and to do so they must enjoy the fight scene, otherwise it can result in the audience losing interest, especially women. In order to appeal to a female audience, we wanted to deliver an innocent and sympathetic ending to our film opening. Stereotypically, women like to watch a film, which consists of sympathy and emotion. The targeted audience, however, is mainly dominated by males. There are no female characters shown in the film opening. In terms of our film rating, we use 12A. This is to appeal to a family and young teenage audience. It suggests that the violence and the use of blood is mild. After carrying out research about film inspirations, we learned that Skyfall, Jack Reacher and mainly the Taken series are strong inspirations for our film openings. These films use 12A as their film rating, especially as Taken is the most accurate and similar representation of our film opening. This shows that this is one of the most common ratings applied on mild action films. Also, the use of violence and blood is not aimed at, at younger views, hence why the rating is 12A to appeal at a different audience. In order to attract an audience which is interested in action films, it is vital to show the main conventions of an action film. This is why we try to implement some of these in our film to try and interest the audience in watching our opening, while keeping them unique from other action films. While we were conducting research for our film opening, we brainstormed the general conventions of an action film. After the production was completed, we created a diagram which showed some of the conventions that were implemented in our opening. For example, having thrilling music played while the two masked men enter the scene was important because it represents the action genre significantly and it is conventional for a villain to have a dramatic entry into the film. As part of our questionnaire, we asked our target audience if they would prefer to see a fight scene or a shooting scene in any movie. Some people would like to see fist fights and shooting scenes while others did not mind. To decide our film opening, we wanted to follow our target audience feedback as much as we can, so we decided to use a fist fight and a shooting scene. This helped us attract a wide range of people to watch our film opening, however, if we use a specific type of action sequence, it may restrain our target audience. A shooting scene towards the end of the film opening is presented mysterious to the viewers. This is because the audience does not know why the masked men are, or who the masked men are, or why did they kill the character, which builds up tension for the viewers to watch more of the film. This is called Enigma Code. This was one of the elements considered to keep the audience hooked in watching our film se sequence. 
The fast-paced fight scene also contributed in keeping the viewers interested in continuing to watch the opening. The audience is also not sure about the location of the opening. They do not know why Harvey is in a hotel room, hence it brings up questions wanting them to watch more. Also, the use of balaclavas was significant because this type of clothing is not generally used in many action films. It provides a unique and different look to our film. This keeps the audience interested because they know they are not watching something similar to another film, despite our inspirations for, of other action films. In addition to this, the quality of the camera was a significant factor. We provided a more professional look by using a high quality Samsung camera. We made sure the editing is excellent and the locations used were presentable and unique, which makes the film opening more enjoyable to watch. This was one of the elements that, con that was considered in the audience watching our film, as it did not look like an opening sequence was created by amateurs. We also used the thriller and mysterious type soundtrack which kept the audience focused resulting in a build up of tension, making them wanting to watch more. At first, it is a slow, steady. Once the phone call is made and the action is started, the music starts to become more tense and dramatic, keeping the viewers engaged. The sound effects were important as it creates an appropriate atmosphere for the audience. For example, the ringing of the phone call kept the viewers hooked as they wanted to see what happens once the other end of the caller picks up the phone, and it builds up strong sense of storyline as well as suspense. The camera used for opening is Samsung NX1000. This advanced technology allowed us to successfully complete our film opening to a good standard. An example would be when Harvey Specter was on the phone. This was seen to be clear and professional. The camera also contains a wider range of ISO lighting, allowing any possible lighting to look effective. This feature would always allow us to get rich tonal graduations and the true colours. The software we used for our movie opening is Final Cut Pro. We edited by trimming the clips that were not needed in the particular shot. We also detached audio that caused unneeded sound to be present. The removal made the dialogue clearer and the scene more professional. We used Final Cut Pro to import soundtracks from CD to our movie opening. We had used the timeline to cut out unnecessary footage to help reduce time to keep it within two minutes. And we had to insert a backing track that was in the correlation with our movie. Progress was shown by using more camera movements in our movie film opening. This was due to our freedom in our prelim. We were limited to four shot types, shot reverse shot, 180 degree rule, continuity and match in action. Whereas in the movie opening we were able to explore more into camera movements, for example a variety of close-ups, extreme close-ups, mid-shot and wide angle. In our prelim we came to see that we had failed to perform both match on action and the 180 degree rule. Having freedom was a positive to our videos as it allowed us to be unique and explore other shots that are more effective. In our movie opening, we had a more effective dialogue compared to our prelim, which was based on simple, undramatic dialogue which had been straight to the point. An example would be when the male character was to say, would you go out with me, rather than use an effective tone of voice like in our movie opening, he said this in the most simplistic way. We had also progressed a better use of costume relevant to the character profile. This was not taken into consideration as importantly in our prelim as we were in our ordinary six form clothing. This made the opening look more professional and planned out. There was also a failure of props used in our prelim, reducing the realism and profession of our scene. In our movie opening, we had used a variety of props to make everything look relevant and seem more realistic. Example would be fake blood rather than using ketchup or any other alternative. Balaclavas to show difference in characters that are good and that are bad, hence why costume is important. We used a briefcase and a gun to make everything quick and realistic. The lighting was important in our movie opening. In the prelim, we were exposed only to natural lighting, making everything seem unclear and dark. This is not seen to be professional. Whereas in our movie opening, the setting was dark, Therefore, we use extra lighting to allow audience to clearly view the scene, making everything look much clearer and professional.